Two words, American Express. It has changed my life this year. I mean, it's a purchase that I was extremely wrong about that I thought wasn't going to have a drastic change in my lifestyle. All I'm saying is if you're the type of person that goes out to eat a lot or you travel here and there, get yourself an American Express credit card. As you all know, like credit cards should be your friends, not so much a hindrance. Don't get a credit card just because everybody else has it. And personally, this credit card has just helped me in so many ways because almost for like 90% of my life, I have been traveling constantly constantly even more so throughout high school and college I wasn't traveling as much now that I'm like resuming my traveling lifestyle this card works in handy so much and I'm going to tell you guys how it works in favor of my lifestyle and how you might need to consider getting it for yourself as well and that is the whole thing with credit cards you should get a credit card where it's working for you and not you working for it let's talk about how they got me because I didn't think they were going to get me and as we all know this card is not really like a credit card it's more so like a charge card which means if you're not the type to make sure your balance is paid off every single month, you do not need an American Express card. That means you want to have interest and you want to pay more than what you're owing to the card. So for me, when I had a credit card, I had a credit card through a credit union. I noticed the first limit that I ever had was $500 because I was telling like my mother and everything that I wanted to get in a credit card. So I asked her to give me a brief, you know, lesson, some knowledge on what APR and all the other stuff. And APR is your annual percentage rate. She was telling me how the APR is high right now because of, you know, the results of the pandemic. And at the time, I think the APR was 15, maybe 16. Imagine whatever your balance is, right? So if my balance was $500, if I paid the minimum amount, which might be like $20, I think, through the credit union, they're going to apply 16 or 17% interest onto my balance until I pay off the full amount. And me, I want to pay exact and no more. Why? Because we're practicing sustainability. Why? Because we're living below our needs why pay more than what you should I just want to say, as you continue to like watch this channel, you're going to see how cheap I am. And then you're going to be like, but Jim, you got on this item and that item. But did I tell you how I got it? If I even told you how I got this camera, I got this camera because I sold two things and then I used my credit card, not the actual card. I used points that I gathered from my card to purchase this camera. So technically I still pay for it, but I made it work for me. Like I'm telling y'all, it's just credit cards are a purchase that you will be extremely wrong about if you do not have the knowledge on how to take advantage of the card. So as I was saying, my credit score was just like going up because I remember when I first got out of college and I didn't really like pay attention to credit scores or anything like that. So I didn't have a credit card in college either. I remember my father showed me Credit Karma and he was like, what's your credit score? What's your credit score? Because we were talking about cars and I went on there and it said I was at like a 630 or something. And then he was like, oh, that's really good. And I'm like, I don't understand how that's really good, but okay. I guess that's just what they started me off at they started me off at 6 30 so I paid that no attention for like two years and I just continued to pay my student loans on time and that was it pay my student loans on time pay my credit card down on time when I first got my credit card I remember the woman she was like do you want a thousand dollar balance or do you want 500 and I said I think I want to start at 500 because I've never had a credit card before so I want to be able to make sure that I can maintain paying back whatever I owe for a whole year I kept the 500 dollar balance which means every time I got paid I would pay the 500 off I'm telling you I'm not a freaking math major. I'm an art major. So basically I would spend a thousand dollars a month, which roughly ends up to being about $12,000 a year on my credit card. I pay my credit card bill twice in one month, every single year. Even with my Amex, I don't go any higher, but I have like crazy limit on my Amex card because it's a charge card. I'm sorry, this is gonna sound like really, really adulting. It's actually boring me as I'm talking about it, but I just wanna get you guys up to speed on the perk. I'm telling everybody like, yeah, I don't really treat my credit card like a credit card. I don't carry over balances and everything. And then my mother was like, well, maybe you should look into a charge card. And then I started getting targeted mail ads from Amex that was like, oh, the card of your dreams, like American Express Gold Card. And we all know. When we look at the American Express, we think about the early 90s, early 2000s, where it was giving rich people credit card. But it's not the same as it was before, nor does it really hold the same value as it
as it did before because now you can have a credit score of like 620 and they will let you in why i don't know i feel i personally feel like you should have a 700 or above to get an amex card i, I think when i registered for mine or i'm sorry apply for mine i was at like 760 i just think you need to show that you know how to manage your money properly now some people who are at 630 they do know how to manage their money properly i'm like you're telling me i can get four times the points on dining out four times the points on groceries three times the points on flights and basically like one times the points on anything else i go out to eat all the time i know it's bad it's a crime but i love food i like trying new things especially when it comes to asian cuisine or indian cuisine i need to try it if my meal is a hundred dollars that's 400 points Ten thousand amex rewards points equals sixty dollars and right now i have like over a hundred thousand i did not know <laughs> that i was going to use my card way 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 more and that's why i say it was a purchase i was wrong about because once i got the charge card the app is phenomenal but the offers that they give are crazy $50 off any meal at a restaurant that you book through the Resi app so you know I went crazy which means I could go to like a five-star restaurant and my bill could be a hundred or two hundred dollars once I swipe my card and the statement pushes through they deduct $50 off just just think about that so you're you get to experience all the dining experiences that you want to experience but through the card for a cheaper price the $50 credit is only for like half of the year really you get a hundred dollar credit but it's split that is what i got i got the fifty dollars off and i went to alpen rose and man was it it was like so exciting to be in alpen rose like i just walked in there the atmosphere was nice because i had never been in there but i was told about it like a lot of times it was just cool because like you get to go into the restaurant and know that you're getting a bang for your buck because you use a coupon it was crazy to even think about the fact that like this coupon is accessible through my card but that's where they got me this card encourages you to spend even more than what you're generally used to spending because the coupons are phenomenal i don't know man like if you're a person that's really really financially intelligent and know how to use coupons to your advantage hey get the amex card but at the same time if you're not stay away from the amex card you're not ready yet you're not you're not ready yet because there's some moments where i'm looking at a coupon and i'm like yeah i could just like push this to the last two weeks and then just pay a little bit more and it's not smart it's not but at the end of the day like i said i still pay off my credit card every single month because on the amex card that apr is like 20 well my apr is 22 right now but the highest it can go up to is 29 so imagine paying 29 percent interest on whatever your balance is that you're carrying over from paying the minimum payment you don't want to do that you just never want to have a balance i don't care what nobody says if you go on forbes.com they tell you you should never ever 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 carry a balance over ever if you can't pay what you owe don't spend at all i'm not a financial advisor i'm just here to tell you that this car has done wonders for me i know this video was short i didn't even make any sense at all i'm also going to leave my referral link because for anyone to amex me i think you get like ten thousand dollars not oh ten thousand points sorry misconception here you get ten thousand rewards points when they hit their uh six thousand dollar mark within the first six months so because i don't think i'll probably be an amex member for the rest of my life seeing as though the annual fees go up crazy but because it caters to my lifestyle right now in my 20s i might have it throughout my entire 20s and then just cancel it maybe when i hit like i don't know 30 35 40 who knows if you guys enjoyed watching i was kind of apprehensive about making this video because i was like is this gonna you know fit into my niche but i'm trying to keep everything fashion lifestyle content and just broaden those areas instead of staying in a single one if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like comment share subscribe all that good stuff put out new videos every week sometimes every week and a half depending on my schedule and i hope to see you guys on the next video bye